Hi everyone, I'm Tim. And I'm Josh. And it's time for another edition of Tech Tips on DRN TV. Uh, today we'd like to show you one of the pieces of hardware we have for you that uh, we are offering here at Dickey World Networks. It's for your television service. It is a TiVo box or a digital video recorder box, DVR box. And Josh, why don't you go through and uh, mention why some of our uh, customers might like to have this service. Well, have you ever gone to work or uh got home one night and realized you just missed your favorite show, your yes. favorite game. I hate that. I hate it. I hate when that happens. This TiVo solves that option. You uh, never miss a game, never miss an episode. You create season passes, you create live shows, create it from your desktop, from your DVR, from your TiVo, record it, watch it later whenever you have time. Awesome. Solves your problem. Done. It's great. So. Let's get into it here a little bit. Let's uh, first show uh, the viewers out there uh, what pieces of hardware that we have uh, and how actually how easy it is to hook it up at home. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually show you what pieces of hardware you usually get with a TiVo. First of all, there is a remote that comes with the TiVo. So it's, uh, it's called the dog bone remote. I know that because it's kind of shaped like a dog bone. That's their claim to fame on their remote. Okay. Also, uh, in order for uh, this to work properly, you do have to hook it up to your home internet network. Um, there's a couple of different options there. We are showing here the wireless adapter option so you can connect to your wireless network. Um, there's also a, a, a jack on the back that we will show you here when we turn the box around. The wireless adapter that Tim is holding in, Tim is holding in his hand is actually sold separately. You can find that from Dicky Rule or online, um, just from TiVo.com. Okay, and what that's hooked up with is just a regular USB type uh, port. It's a square port that plugs in right here on the back of your uh, back of your TiVo. Other pieces of uh, cables that are plugged in. Here's your power cable that just goes straight to a 110 outlet. Um, here is uh, the cable that goes between your TiVo and your television, and what that's called that's called an HDMI cable. So that would go from this, this cable goes directly into the television that we have here. And then uh, here was our wireless adapter. And uh, here we have uh, the actual cable service that comes from Dickey World Networks. You just plug that into your TiVo here first. So all your programs will go into the TiVo and then your TiVo will send them to your television. Also you will note here that uh, there is a, a, a piece of hardware that is in the back of the TiVo here now. It's called the cable card, and what that does, that that gives uh, gives you all the information and decodes everything that uh, Dicky Rural sends to you as far as any uh, uh, digital channels or any premium channels that you uh, may be getting through our service. Now you have to have that cable card in order for um, the TiVo to decipher that information correctly. Now, as Tim mentioned, that the cable card is what's new to Dicky Roll. A lot of people have asked, a lot of customers have called in, and they want the set-top box. They want the interactive guide, they want the premium channels, they want the ability to record. This cable card gives you all of those options. We have new packages coming out with new channels, new premium channels. The number of channels that you'll receive now will greatly expand than what our previous lineups were. But in order to view those channels, you'll have to have the cable card much like the other dish companies use in their set-top boxes as well. Right. Okay, Josh, maybe let's uh, go through and just uh, show people what uh, the actual TiVo will look like um, on their television sets when they, uh, they uh, hook that up now. Um, what you find, um, first of all, we'll just kind of go through what the, re the actual remote has on. Um, the, the main buttons, you'll see number buttons down here so you can enter channels, channels manually. You'll see your pause, your play, you know, that'll be when you use your DVR functionality. In order to get into the TiVo menu, the TiVo button at the very top, that's kind of like your home button. That'll always get you back to where you need to go. So that's a very important button at the very top. You can also program your remote so it will uh, uh, turn on your television set. Um, that'll, you can uh, find that information in your TiVo owner's manual, depending on what type of uh, television set you have. 
Um, they all have little different codes that you use, but uh, pretty easy to find when you see that in your owner's manual. So you can control your volume and your channels of your television set also through this TiVo remote. We're going to go in and show you a couple settings that you might need to set up on your TiVo also uh, before you actually start recording programs. So we're in the main TiVo menu here. We're going to go down to the settings and messages. Um, option and then we'll do a right arrow over into the right side and then we'll go to our settings um, we'll hit select and what there are uh, there are a few different options here you can change the way your audio is is uh, set up you can uh, actually go in and do a channel scan in here which is something that you will probably want to do and we'll just go quickly through how the channel scan actually works you click on channels you go uh, to channel scan and then you would hit this button and uh, the TiVo would scan all the channels in that uh, you're supposed to get from Dickie Rowe. I won't do that now because that takes a amount of time, but um, that's one of the things there. So we'll, we'll back out of this again. Um, also, you can change the way your uh, TiVo is displayed on your television, either in high def or standard def, uh, other displays. Um, the network and phone we'll get to here in a little bit. Parental controls, you can also set parental controls on here so uh, you can set it so your children can't watch particular rating shows. Um, those are all set up in the settings menu here. Uh, different recording options, um, if you want uh, it to record a few minutes early, a few minutes late, those kind of things, you can set those things in the main menu here. Um, the cable card, uh, devices, those things, if you do get your TiVo from us, our technicians have the cable card set up for you already, so you don't have to worry about anything there. And video options, these are just some other video options that you can change, like the resolution on your uh, uh, particular TiVo. But we're going to go back to the network and phone, because that's probably one of the ones we get the most questions at in our technical service department here, is how to set up your network or your phone. Um, we showed you the uh, actual... Um, Wireless adapter, you can hook up this wire to your network through uh, just an ethernet jack that's in the back of the TiVo, but most people, since they don't have uh, that particular uh, cable right to the TiVo, they use the wireless adapter a lot. And to set up a wireless network, it is a, a little, little trickier, so we'll kind of go through that for you. So we're on our network and phone here. We're gonna click on uh, select on that. So it's gonna go to our network um, and phone uh, menu. So. Uh, right now it'll show if we want to connect to the service, change our network settings, use the phone, view the network status, or view network diagnostics. We're going to just uh, go in here and change our network settings so you kind of know what the settings menu looks like. Um, it's going to ask you here if you want to connect wirelessly to your wireless home network. Since the TiVo knows we have a wireless adapter hooked up, um, it knows that we can connect to a wireless network, so we're just going to click select here. Okay. Uh, the wireless networks that your actual TiVo can see are then listed on the screen. Um, we have a number of wireless networks that it's seeing right now, but we want to connect to the DRN public network here. So we're just going to hit select. Okay. And then the TiVo will try and access your network. And sometimes this takes a, a little bit of time, but usually not too much. Okay. Um, in the, in the uh, event that your network is secured with a password, it'll ask you that for that password at that time. Um, since this was an open network, it's going to go past that for us. So it's going to ask uh, if you want to automatically uh, get an address from the DHCP server, which is almost 99.9% uh, .9 of the time you're going to want to get it with a DHCP address instead of a static address. So we're going to click yes on that. So uh, our, now our router is giving an IP address to this particular piece of equipment. It's going to be accessing the network. Okay. And then now it says the DVR begins using the new network settings now, so we'll just press select, and it's gonna be uh, able to be connected to the wireless network at that time. Hey, after you hit that TiVo button, um, you'll be in the main menu here, and the things in the main menu are all shown here, but uh, we'll go to the very top here where it says My Shows, um, and uh, this'll be what uh, programs that you do have recorded already. So these are under My Shows, we click the Select button, and you will see what shows that you could actually go and watch. If you happen to see, oh, here we have the voice on here. So the voice from last Wednesday, well, as soon as you hit the select button, it will start playing the voice for you. So the, it shows a number of uh, uh, different uh, episodes of that. And so it goes to uh, the voice, the finale. Here we hit play. 
and then that would be showing you the actual uh, television program that you're seeing. It's, you're seeing the very end of the previous program and then you will see the, the voices starting on there right now. Um, all we have to do to uh, get out of this menu again, we hit the main TiVo button, the home button at the top, and then we're back at our TiVo central menu um, once again. Josh, do you want to kind of go through and show people how they can go in and uh, set some programs to record? Sure. And as even before we get to that, as you can see up here, that one of the new features of the newer TiVos is that it gives you a picture-in-picture -picture, um, type of feature. So you can go through your My Shows or look for your new shows and uh, yet still watch what you were watching. Which, so that's pretty neat. Um, if you also are searching for a specific show, you can go down to Find TV, Movies, and Video. This gives you some video on demand options. Select here, you can go into search, <clears throat> you can browse for, for TV and movies, or if you're looking for like some video on demand and have an Amazon online account, you can go into Amazon Instant Video here and download some videos instantly to your, to your TiVo. Um, you're gonna watch them streaming live or download them to your, to your TiVo. So it gives you some different options to watch high def um, or just rent movies or buy movies. If we hit the main TiVo button again, we'll go back to our main screen. You can also look at uh, music and photos that you have stored on your network or on your hard drive, uh, hard drive of your TiVo. Or if you're uh, watching live TV, one of the easiest ways to uh, set up recordings or to set up um, season passes is to uh, hit the guide button on the remote and bring up the guide that gives you uh, what's on, what's going to be on. You can scroll up or down depending on the channel. And you, you can also scroll, you know, time ahead, days ahead. You know you're gonna be gone the next night. You can scroll over, over, over. Okay, I wanna record this. So let's say this episode of Hotel Impossible that I wanna record, you just hit the small re red record button on the remote and it's gonna ask you, do you wanna record this showing or do you want to get a season pass? And so the season pass is what the brains of the TiVo dictate. I want to record it every time it's on. So you don't have to go in and tell the TiVo to record it every time. You're just telling the TiVo, I want you to record this every time it's on. And then you've got different options, whether you want to record new, op new shows, reviews, all of them, or um, how many you want to keep at a time. So it does give you some other options. So we'll just go back to the main TiVo button. Main TiVo screen. We won't really record this. And now we're back to the home screen. That's just a quick look at uh, what TiVo can do for you. If you do have any questions after you get your TiVo service from us, uh, just don't hesitate to give our technical assistance group a call. Um, you'll see the number on the screen right now. And uh, they'll be able to help you out uh, getting things set up. Our technicians are also always good at helping out any of our customers get those things set up. And if you have questions on what packages you may be interested in, what channel lineups we offer, give our customer service reps a call. They'll be able to explain what different packs we have. As we mentioned before, our channel lineup will change. Uh, they'll also be able to go over some customized packages for what TiVo um, would be best in your home if you've got multiple TVs that you want to hook up. Um, you want to use multiple boxes, we do have some customizable packages available for that. So. Right, and the number for that is right, right on your screen right here. So um, just give that number a call and they'll sure be able to help you out. All right, Josh, anything else we need to add? Don't be afraid. If you're looking for more information, check out our Facebook page or DRN Tech TV on YouTube or go to drtel.net or drtel.com. And while you're at drtel.net or .com, if you've got any other ideas you'd like to have us have on our uh, tech tips on DRN TV, if you've got any ideas that you'd like to have us show you, uh, please hit the Contact Us button and uh, get that information to us, and we might have that information on a future edition of Tech TV. So... Um, thanks for watching. See ya. See ya.